We already have spent one day talking about the metric system, and this video is just supposed to remind you of some of the things we talked about and take your, your understanding just a little bit further. I'm going to start by trying to recreate the chart that we have, the graphic that you have that you can pull out from your notes. So today, what I'm focusing on in my examples is the base unit of the leader. And here, they're capitalizing the leader, so I'm going to capitalize the leader over here. So I'll start with the leader, and then I'm going to go smaller from there, and I'm going to write deciliter. Let me try that again. Deciliter. And a deciliter is a tenth of a liter. After the deciliter is the centiliter, which is one one hundredth of a liter. And then after that, I have the milliliter, which is one one thousandth. Of a liter. Now I'm going to increase. 10 liters is equal to a decaliter. So we have deca and deci. Deci is a tenth, deca is 10. So 10 liters. And then we have the hectoliter, which is 100 liters. And then we have the kiloliter, which is 1,000 liters. From here, I need to remember my rhyme. So if I'm going from, okay, bear down to milliliter, which is the tiniest, fly, if I'm moving this direction, to convert bear to fly, you multiply. So I'm going to be multiplying by a factor of 10. So hectoliter to decaliter, I would be multiplying by 10. Decaliter to liter, I'd be multiplying by 10, and so on and, and so forth. For every jump, we're multiplying by 10. Now, on this conversion chart, if I were moving fly to bear, the rhyme we remembered is you share, which means you divide. So I would go to go from a milliliter to a centiliter, I would divide by 10. So for every jump, I am dividing by 10. Dividing by 10, and then one more jump, dividing by 10. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and focus on the example that I have. 1A, the example is 9,900 liters is equal to how many kiloliters? So I'm moving from liters to kiloliters. So liters is the smaller unit of measure and kiloliters is the larger unit of measure. So I'm going from the fly to the bear. So I'm going to share, which means I'm going to divide. And let's think about what I'm going to divide by. So I'm going from the liter all the way to the, the kiloliter. And so I'm going to um, jump once, twice, three times. So that means I'm dividing by 10 once, twice, three times. And dividing by 10 three times is the same as dividing by 1,000. Also, I wanted to focus on, we didn't talk about this the other day, um, multiplying by 10 means you're moving the decimal one place to the right. And if you divide by 10 one time, you move the decimal one place to the left. So I could go ahead and type in, you know, into my calculator, 9,900 divided by 1,000, or think about it in my head. Or if I'm dividing by 10 three times, I could move the decimal one place to the left three times. So the decimal starts out here, and I can move the decimal once, twice, three times to the left, and I would get my answer to be 9.9 .9 kiloliters. So 9,900 liters is equal to 9.9 .9 kiloliters. So that method is, is very useful, moving the decimal. It makes it, it makes it very fast to convert this.